this is still on a lot of fine and dry weather over the next few days, but we could have just one or two complications. If it's sunshine you're after, though, I think the south is probably your best bet, whereas further north we are seeing a little bit more cloud around at the moment. That's been moving in across Scotland, Northern Ireland and parts of Northern England too. So let's dive down underneath that cloud and see what's going on. Well, for Scotland, it will be predominantly cloudy for the rest of the afternoon, with a few spots of rain here and there, quite cool in the east as well. But where the sunshine does come out, say around the Glasgow area, we could see temperatures into the low 20s. A bit of cloud is feeding down across northern England, and that too will bring just a few spots of light rain and drizzle in places. But as we head further south still, the cloud is much more well broken here. So highs of up to 25 Celsius in London, that's 77 Fahrenheit. And as we move our way over towards the southwest of England and Wales, virtually clear blue skies for many people here. Just a few little puffs of cloud here and there. But I think for Northern Ireland, it will stay rather overcast for the rest of the afternoon. You'll be lucky if you see much in the way of sunshine. Now, as the afternoon wears on, we'll continue to see that cloud moving down through Scotland into northern England, and that will continue to produce just a few patches of rain here and there. There's the potential, I think, for the odd heavier burst in places later this evening. But generally, overnight, most of that rain will tend to die away. It leaves a fair legacy of cloud, though, so I don't think it'll be a particularly cold night, particularly compared to the last few. Now, as we go into tomorrow, quite a contrast, really, from the northern end of the country to the south. In the north, it's going to be quite a cloudy start to the day. Still a few spots of rain across the north of Scotland there. Whereas, as we head down towards the southwest, once again, it's clear blue skies to start the day. So that's where we're going to see the lion's share of the sunshine. But still, there'll be a fair amount of it across Wales, over towards southeast England. And there'll be a few holes in the cloud developing elsewhere. But I think there will be the potential for just a few isolated sharp showers. Fairly well isolated, though. Not many people will catch them. So for many... It will be a dry day. Temperatures getting up to 25, perhaps 26 degrees. And over the next few days, we keep the mainly dry theme, but there's a chance that we could see some wetter weather as we head towards the weekend.